Well, hey everybody, 650EP here coming to you from a rainy day in filthy Cleveland at Sills Motor Sales for another new bike build series video. In this episode, Zach, the master mechanic, is going to install Samco red hoses onto our 2023 Aprilia RSV4 factory speed wipe. Those parts were sent to us by our good buddy, Miami Manny at Moto Million. And once Zach is done today, I'm gonna to take the RSV4 down to Miami so that Moto Million can install a whole bunch of amazing parts onto this machine. This is leading up to us giving this bike away to yet another viewer watching these videos. Information on how you can possibly win our 2023 Aprilia RSV4 factory speed wipe. Always the first link in the description of my videos. Let's get the heck out of the rain, go inside and see what Zach the Master Mechanic's doing. The beautiful speed wide is back on your bench, Zach. It is, and we got some parts that we can put on it before we put it back together. Uh, we confirmed that just tightening up those bolts around the water pump, I guess, fixed the leak because yep. it hasn't leaked in your garage at all. It has Said not. you started it a couple times in the driveway just for some quick posts yep. and uh, no issues. So we're going to go ahead and install some of our favorite red Samco hoses oh, on lovely. it. lovely. And uh, of course, we got the clamp kit along with that. Looks like lots of hoses, so it should be a good time. And then uh, we also have our... DG83 radiator oil cooler guard. Yes. This does already kind of have a factory one. I see that. Uh, kind of flimsy looking. For the oil cooler. Yeah. So I don't know if we cut that out of there or have it double guarded. I don't know. We'll have to it's see what happens. It's going to be interesting. Yeah. When we get to that point. Because uh, yeah, it does come with the oil cooler, but that's not even the right shape, is it? I don't know. We'll oh. find out when we get there. Okay. Let's uh, start by getting the coolant out of the bike and we'll pop a couple of the plastic covers back on that we took off and then uh, start changing hoses. All right, so to drain the coolant on this bike, unlike the S1000, it actually has a drain. We can pull this bolt out of the water pump and then watch out, because once I open up this radiator cap, oh, it will start spraying out. I was expecting a geyser. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it still might be on its way. It might even miss the bucket. Oh. Nothing yet. Yeah, our favorite radiator cap isn't cooperating. All right, I remember that. You to pump a hole in radiator for it? There we go. Oh yeah, it did pour out. Did like we make a, it like bucket? a cow taking a pee pee. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> so it looks like we're gonna continue to use this aluminum pipe, which I like it when the Samco kits get rid of that, but. Yeah. Unfortunately, this one, we still use it probably because of this junction. But a lot of times, Samco will make a hose that has this junction in it. Yeah. So it's all one piece, and that's cool because then there's not a, that's like one less place it could leak. Yeah. So uh, we won't have quite the full red hose like I was hoping. And we got to get to the other side of the bike and find where this hose goes. It looks like hoses go everywhere over there. I see. Guess they just put this clamp on it to keep the hose from falling into the exhaust. Okay. So we could reuse that. And if we go over to the other side, where does that go to? Oh, that goes all the way up to our thermostat housing here. So I'm not quite sure. And there must be a hose under the tank too. Oh boy, it's under tight. Yeah, they really don't want these coolant hoses to go anywhere. The clamps barely fit, open up big enough to fit over the flange. So you have to spray silicone spray on the outside of the pipe makes it super slippery. This tool breaks free like the suction that happens with the pipe really well, but it still just does not want to pull off. Oh, Easily. Oh. All right. Okay. I think we can finally change one. Or what we need. So you can see it says 35 on it. Yep. So we'll put a 35 on each end. Samco hose fits. Already looking better. Yeah. Well, they get the logo right side up on the Italian bikes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Whenever we put them on an S1000, the logo is always wrong. Winds up upside down. Yeah. This clamp we might wind up moving because there's a chain guard that goes here and a cover that goes over this. I don't know if this is going to wind up in the way or not. Nice and snugged up though. All right, we got one hose. Up. 
All right, so the hose clamp wouldn't cooperate, so we're just gonna cut it. So after much fighting, got the hose clamp off. Yeah. The biggest problem with these are, it's, when using the correct player, mm -hmm. I think it may have bent out this bottom prong, and that somehow is not big enough. It should be. Yeah. So I wound up getting it to tuck this bottom piece in under the top one so I could open it up larger. But that shouldn't, it just is a thing that should never happen. That's ridiculous. What was that, a half hour? Yeah, But sometimes much. that happens. Yeah. More often than you'd think, actually, that's what happens. With the long hose off, we can get our thermostat housing out through the hole in the frame. Nice. And now this should be a lot easier to get this clamp off. You can see it just barely, it almost doesn't open enough. So if we give it some lubrication, then we can get it up over, but not, I mean, there's no need for the hose clamps to be that tight and fit. Now we can replace that with the Samco. Make sure we get our bend right. Hmm, let's check something. Yeah. Maybe this hose over here. No, because it's too short. Yep. It's gotta be this one. It's gotta be this one. I mean, that's pretty close. We'll yeah, I think that. so. Let's see what number hose clamp we get. Probably another number 35. Hopefully that's majority of what we have. There's a 30. Nope. That'd be the 35. And I just try to always put the clamp so that the it's easily accessible to tighten, yet still out of the way. This should be out of the way of a fairing or anything. And now we got our short little piece that was so much fun to get off. Right. It should go right on at least. Looks like it's gonna be a couple of 35s as well. Oh, twist it on me. There. there we go. Get a clamp on there. Getting close. Yeah. Oh, look at this hose is coming off though, of course. This is seriously some of the worst installation I've ever had to do. Wow. With Samco hoses. All right, I think we got all the hoses and clamps finally in. Yes. There are two other ones that run between the cylinders, but we don't have access to them and I can't see pulling the tank off just to change them. The factory hoses are in there. Right. We'll send them along. Uh, let's see if we can put these overflow hoses on if they're needed or not. Easy enough, we just cut this hose to the same length. And route it like it was using the new hose clamps. Oh, gotta watch out, because if this tail from the hose clamp winds up in the way of the radiator cap, that'll be a pain. That should work. And then our actual overflow hose goes through a bunch of zip ties and clamps. We'll try to route the new one that way as much as possible. I don't know if we can though, because it's thicker. We weren't able to use that guide on the uh, hose that goes across, but there's no way that's making it to the exhaust. The hose is a different diameter, so that clamp doesn't work anymore. So lose a little bit of weight there, right? Sure. <laughs> and let's pull this through. This just goes down to the ground. This one's a lot closer. It looks like it. And we'll follow through and put the angle on the bottom. That way, uh, Nothing can clog in there. Okay. Might even give it a little slit, just so a rock or something doesn't make its way in. Now it can't clog. Oh, that looks clean. Installed. Nice. Radiator, oil cooler guards, and Samco red hoses. Beautiful. Now we gotta get some coolant in there and get the body work back on. Yes, engine ice to the rescue? Yeah, we're switching it to engine ice. I don't have any Aprilia coolant on hand and the BMW and Honda stuff is very different in formulation. So this is safe to run in all, so that's what we're gonna do. We ran some distilled water through it first, dumped it out. And uh, this doesn't have any bleed spots or recommend the use of a vacuum pump or anything. I looked it up in the service manual before. They, they just have you 
uh, fill it, and then they tell you to start it, run it, and top it off. But what we're gonna do is fill it, and then I'll take it off the bench, and we'll lean it over to both sides, get as much air out of it as we can, run it, run it till the fans kick on, let it cool down, and then top it off. All right, so we got the engine ice in it, and the cooling system bled out as good as we possibly could just by squeezing the hoses and tilting the bike side to side and keep topping it off. Now we're ready to fire it up and make sure we don't have any leaks and then we'll get the body work on. All right, so we got the bike back together for the first time in a long time. Yes. All the fairings are back on, all the fasteners are where they belong. And we got the Samco hoses with engine ice coolant installed on the motorcycle. Yes. And the great radiator guard to protect it from stones. Yep. And we fixed the coolant leak along the way. Yeah. So uh, that's the journey thus far. Yes, sir. And we'll see what more is to come. You got it, man. Thanks for all your hard work time. on it, Zach. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, man, this bike heads to Miami now, and now it's time for, time for Miami Mandy at Motor Million to install a lot of his amazing parts on his machine. Stay tuned guys, we got more videos of installs coming real soon. Thanks for viewing, we'll catch you next time on the 650E YouTube channel. Some of these hoses are visible. <laughs>